Welcome to the NC Spin After Spin. Additional comments from our panelists just available on our website. Rufus, we had a full show last week. What didn't you have the chance to say that you'd like to have? Well, one is hearkening back to my days in Washington with Senator Sam J. Irvin to show that there can be harmony. There can be two people that get along on both sides. Senator Irvin and Senator Baker decided in the very beginning of Watergate that we will not disagree. The there was actually uh, a blending of, a, of Eastern Tennessee and a Western North Carolina that was amazing. Now to show you how important that is, out of the hundreds of subpoenas that we issued, not one time do I know that there was ever a subpoena refused. They never dishonored a subpoena. The only one that was ever dishonored was Richard Nixon. When I took the subpoena down to him, he said, no, we won't do it, but then the court in an eight to zero ruling said no one is above the law. And I think it's just a marvelous contrast and something to be said for North Carolina that Senator Irvin was able to run that show with the greatest of, of Well, it wasn't just Senator Irvin. There were a lot of North Carolinians that were working they, behind the they, scenes. There were a lot of them, our friends, like Gene Boyce and Lacey Pressnell and others. And they, they were called the Rufus Mafia, by the way. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, if you want to learn more about this, read Rufus's book, That's Rufus. Thanks for watching the Afterspin. We'll have more video all during the week on ncspin.com.